I'm Michelle from Vulture Magazine, and we are here with Alistair, 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 I, I'd prefer to just call you Ali, yeah, and Alf <laughs> from the Kairos, who are in town to perform their wonderful music from their debut album, Dream of Reason. It's delightful. I really, really, really recommend you, you listen to it, especially the last track, Perspective. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Uh, so, guys... You've got your debut album out now, so was it as much work as you thought it would be to release an album? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it definitely was. Um, we spent probably about up to a year writing um, and accumulated about 150 songs. Um, and then um, after we had all this music, it was kind of the longest process was picking which ones fit together and eliminating some of our favourite ones. So. That was kind of the hardest yeah, bit of it all. The difficult part is just chopping down the ones that you can't use. Because like, we've always been able to write songs easily. Easily. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, the hard part is when different people have opinions and they change the way you kind of visualise the song at the start. So it was kind of... That was the frustrating part. But it was very easy. So was, did the record company have a big say in that, though? Or did you get that creative... Yeah, they, they did. And it was kind of like we kind of had to tell them what we really felt we liked and you know we had our reasons for different songs being on it and kind of had to show them why it should be on it and yeah. you know they're, they're pretty understanding yeah. but totally they're just you know they'll always have some songs that are just like yeah that's that's an awesome mm. song they want the big singles they yeah. want to sell <laughs> of course they do of course they do and so how um has the response been towards the album now is it it's, yeah, there's been a bit of time to sink in now, I guess. Like yeah. it's, it's been out a month, maybe? A bit more than a month? When we were over in Asia when it first came out, and so to come back and have people, you know, already being like, oh, this track's my favourite, like this one, this one, and people coming to the shows and singing along to songs that are just like, you know, maybe track eight, which you wouldn't, you know, it's like, oh, they've actually listened to the album, you know? So it's, it's been awesome. It's been like a, a great response, and we're really excited to... You know, do the rest of this tour and then and then keep doing it because I'm sure we'll do more shows again towards the end of the year. I'm sure you'll do very very well. Um, is there a reason you called yourself the Cairo's? Because I was um, researching about Cairo to understand, try and understand mm. why you called yourself the Cairo's, and just wondering, is there a religious thing about no, this, no. or there's just is lots it of turmoil there and there's lots of turmoil in our band? And right, that's the only connection I can. Kind of yeah, <laughs> because like Cairo is. Like I looked it up and say Cairo is the oldest city, um, sorry, one of the oldest cities in the Arab world and it's got one of the largest film industries and um, it's only got one of, it's got the last remaining ancient wonder of the world. Did you know that? The, last the pyramids of Giza. Oh wow. The there were seven ones. and now there's only one. And the translation for it um, in, in uh, Arabic is the conqueror or the victorious. That's what Cairo That's means. That's exactly why we call that. That's exactly yeah. it. You're full yeah. of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you've been on your first full album tour now. You're in the middle of it. What have you learned about each other being on, on the road and being confined to small areas and spaces with these smelly boys <laughs> all at once? We've done that for a while. Yeah. Then, but... Um, but this is serious business yeah, now. We're sharing the van this time with another band as well, so it's kind of like interesting that you know other people's music, and sometimes you get a bit insulated, a bit trapped in each other. But having a few other people around makes you behave yourself better, and I don't know. We've got a tour manager that's coming with us this time, so he, it's good having him. He kind of keeps us in line as well, so there's no. As well as making us really stressed. Yeah. Yeah, that's no fun. <laughs> yeah. Right. Saves us from doing all the hassle, but then makes us stressed in the process. Oh God. <laughs> all right. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I've got 50 questions here. They're all randomly numbered. All random questions. Sure. Some of them band related. Some of them music related. Some of them completely fucking random. Okay. But you're going to pick a number, and then that's the question you get. Okay. All right. So we'll have three goes each. Ready? Pick a number between one and fifty. Twenty-two. What hurts most, physical or emotional pain? Emotional. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and I think it, obviously <laughs> my fine physique <laughs> would um, explain nothing can hurt me physically. Emotionally, yeah, for sure. I don't know. It's kind of pretty lame answer, but <laughs> no, I've had my share of uh, bad breakups. They're never good. So, yeah. 
left here. Yeah. Fourteen. Ali, you better not have read this. Favourite song right now? Favourite song right now? Uh, the song I was woke up to this morning was that Freaking Out the Neighbourhood, I think, by Mac DeMarco. Right. Is it even called Freaking Out the Neighbourhood? I don't know, but that sounds... Is that really old song? No, 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 no. It's, it's a, a year or two ago, I think. Maybe I might know it, yeah, but... I just... Is it... That's... Right now, that's the song you've got to have on repeat? No, well, I don't have an iPod on me right now, but just in my head, usually... What kind of musician are you? It's just... Because we hear music all the time. The last thing I want to do in my free time is listen to music. <laughs> well, again, what kind of musician are you? <laughs> okay. You absorb it, and then when you're alone, you create it. I think that's... <laughs> Pick a number. Um, 11. Okay. Would you collaborate with Justin Bieber for a million dollars? Yeah, absolutely. I'd do a lot of things for a million dollars. Okay, <laughs> pick a number. Uh, 16. You're staying within the 25. Springsteen or Bowie? Oh, they had their different moments. I think growing up, definitely Bowie. Like, loved all the sort of early albums, and Starman was definitely a favourite track of mine. But Springsteen's kind of like, I know he's got this presence about him, which is also pretty, you know, working class and awesome and, uh, but I think Bowie, yeah, Bowie. Bowie? Bowie for the win. Last one. Okay. Make it a good one. Okay. Um, Something higher than 25. Let me, yeah. yeah Everything 40, after 24 is the good, dirty ones. 49. If you were the opposite sex for a day, what would you do? <laughs> I know what you do. Uh, <laughs> Come on, let's not be cliche. I would, um... I would, no, I won't be cliche. I would just go shopping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy really revealing clothes and walk down the main strip of the city and and subject yourself and to bask great bask in the, the glory <laughs> of my beautiness. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who's to say you're going to be a hot opposite sex? Oh, okay, I thought that was just okay. Uh, no, no, okay, all right. you, you represent, and I like that. Okay, last one. Here we go. Um, 32. 32. If you could be in any other band, which one would it be? Any other band? Mm, I'd love to be like a session musician in some big band, like some, I don't know, still hiding on the wings and just, you know, playing all the guitar parts or the drum parts somewhere. Like, oh, who's, a, who's a big touring band that needs session musicians? Kanye. Kanye. I'll be Kanye's drummer. Just, you know, waiting in the wings, just no pressure, just enjoying it. I'm pretty sure if you're touring with Kanye, there's always yeah. going to be pressure. No pressure. You'll be up in your grill <laughs> all the time. <laughs> okay, that's it for Vulture in the Cairos. Hopefully you get down to one of their shows. That's my phone ringing. Good cue. <laughs> Peace out.